welcome back to another video on my channel so today's video is on these gorgeous lace nail art designs and to create these gorgeous nails I use the new Dixie Plates Lace 01 stamping plate this will be released in April 2018 it is a gorgeous plate full of beautifully detailed lace images and the one thing I absolutely love about this plate is you've got those four extra large images on the bottom and off the top of the plate so for your longer nail girls like myself it's perfect. This plate here the camouflage 01 will also be releasing at the same time as the lace 01 plate and I'm definitely going to do my nails with this. So I'll just insert a picture of how my nails turned out using the camouflage plate. I have got a tutorial using this plate on my channel so I'll link that down below for you. So all the plates come really well packaged. You have a protective sleeve and then this blue film on every plate. The plates are so well etched. They pick up perfectly every time. Make sure you're using a really highly pigmented quick drying stamping polish and I advise using the Dixie Plates clear stamp with it and you'll have perfect pick up every time. So I'm using these Magpie Gel colours as my base for all the swatches. These are the six colours that I'm using, all from again Magpie Gel Colour. And then this is what all six colours look like. Magpie gels are 100% pure gel formula and they are absolutely fabulous. Most of those colours are one layer full coverage pigment so I'm going to jazz up those swatches a little bit before we go in with the stamping using magpie dust connie and some transfer foils so on two of the nails I'm using a silver holographic and a gold transfer foil just to add a bit of texture and add a bit of dimension to the nails so on this blue I'm using a silver holographic all over the nail in patches and then on this kind of elephant grey I'm using a gold foil on one half of the nail. Then I'm going to use Magpie Dust in Connie. I'm going to use this on two of the swatch sticks as well. I'm just going to apply it randomly using my Magpie applicator brush, just dotting it into that inhibition layer and pressing it onto the nails. So there are all the six swatch sticks ready to go for stamping, the left two are embellished with dust, the middle two have foil and then the right two are plain. I like to jazz up my nails with a bit of dimension before stamping, it creates a nice bit of detail. And I'm using my Dixie Plates clear stamper as always because it's just the best for precise stamping. So I'm just going in and cleaning and prepping my plate and my stamper. And the colours I'm going to be using for these swatches are Snowed In from Hit The Bottle and also Psycho Pink also from Hit The Bottle. These are stamping polishes. So I'm using this extra large image down on the bottom right hand side of the plate. It picks up absolutely crisp and perfectly as you can see there and it applies amazingly well as well. So what I would say, I say this on all my stamping videos, if you're doing a more detailed image, just hold that stamper on your client's nail, on the swatch stick a little bit longer and then the image will transfer perfectly. The reason why I'm saying to do that is sometimes with the more finer images, like for example this, they just need that extra second longer of holding the image on the nail or on your swatch stick so that they transfer perfectly. So I thought I'd jazz up this nail a little bit with a bit of a metallic hot pink striping tape. This is one of the many ways you can add to a stamping plate image or design to enhance it even further. So I love adding before I stamp and after I stamp with extra little bits of em embellishments, whether it be striping tape, some Shofsky crystals, that kind of thing. So I just think it gives it an extra bit of detail. 
So this is my absolute favourite image on the plate. I don't know why, but I think it's just beautiful with those little tassely bits. And I stamped this on the foil nail. So I really love how that gold foil is peeking through that white lace image on the right hand side. And then you've got the feathery dangly bits on the left. I absolutely love this image. Just want to quickly say a massive thank you to the lovely Kate Dix who creates all these gorgeous stamping plates. Uh, they're absolutely beautiful and thank you for sending these gorgeous stamping plates for me to use and play with. So for this image I thought I'd do a little bit of double layer stamping with two of the lace images. So I've gone in with this basic lace image first and then I'm using the hot pink stamping polish and going in with the second layer using this gorgeous trim of lace and any bits of lace that I don't want on that stamper I'm just using my nail or you can use your scraper to get that off the stamper so you can stamp perfectly and I'm just adding that on the end of the nail and it adds that most gorgeous little bit of detail. So there you have all six swatches of images of this gorgeous new plate from Dixie Plates. Again, this is launching in April 2018. Head on over to the Dixie Plates Facebook group. I'll leave that link down below for more information and lots of help with stamping and that kind of thing. It's a great Facebook page to be a part of. Also, check out my Instagram, Isabel May Nails, for loads more designs on my clients using this stamping plate and loads of other nail art designs also. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!